Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. This time we insert fractions into Google Doc. You may need fractions to show a part of a whole as a mathematical example. In Google Docs, we write fractions either via a diagonal line like this or via classic division line like this. Just the way it looks when written on a paper instead of when they're just separated by a slash. Fortunately, that's made very simple on Google Docs, and there are a few ways to do that. Let's go explore them. Starting off from utilizing automatic fractions by Google Docs itself. Basically, when you enter numbers in a specific way, Google Docs converts it into a fraction automatically and that is performed when we enter the numbers we want to turn into a fraction with a slash symbol between them, like 1 slash 2. Then space on the keyboard like you normally do to continue typing. There we go. And as you can see, Google Docs indicates the substitution with this green dotted underline to point out where some change occurred. And then we keep going on. 1 slash 3 and space. 3 slash 5 in space, and you got it. And we can control this, exclude specific numbers or add new ones. We go to the Tools item on the toolbar on top and press on it. Then going down to Preferences and press on it. And on a new window, we we'll switch to Substitutions. Scrolling down, and here you can see which numbers are getting turned into fractions automatically. Now you can change this. Press on the box left of the field to disable or enable a substitution. Here to the right, you can delete them by pressing on a cross mark. And if you press on the field with the original number, you can modify it. So as the item it is replaced with. Now, if you need more than that, here comes an advanced option to insert more complex fractions and create formulas. We will enable a special bar for equations. We go to the Insert on the toolbar, then dragging the mouse down to the Equations line and pressing it. And here is that bar. These items are drop-down menus with a range of different symbols, where we need exactly this one math operations, where the first item on the left is the one we need, so we press it, and enter a number, and then enter on a keyboard to switch to the bottom part, typing in the numbers, and enter once again to finish it. Here it is. And concerning this whole equation bar, its functionality goes far beyond the simplest fractions. This is actually an equation building tool. Here you not just insert different symbols, but are able to build a formula out of them inside of this box. So if you insert, let's say, this symbol, type in the numbers, then this one, and the numbers, and so on to create an advanced equation that you need. Just great. And the last option to insert fractions is performed via the special character menu. We go to the insert item on the toolbar and down to special characters. Here we have two drop downs. So press the left one and select number in the menu. Then the right button and selecting fractions and related. Here you have it. Just press on either one and it will get inserted into the dock, where your mouse pointer is at the moment. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodapps.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.